page 81, exercise seven. Conversation, conversation. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? Are you here? Yes. Okay. So please listen, listen the conversation and then we are gonna practice. Page 81, exercise seven, conversation. What have you been doing? Part A, listen and practice. Hey, Louisa, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? I haven't been going out much. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I've been trying to become an actor. I've been taking courses and going to a lot of auditions. Really? How long have you been trying? Since I graduated. But I haven't had any luck yet. No one recognizes my talent. Okay. Uh, can you please read the conversation again? Jorge, you are Steve. And Diana, you are Luisa. Okay. Me escucha, teach? Yes. Okay. Hey, Luisa, I haven't seen you in age. Uh, ages. What have you been in done age, Ages. It's plural, in ages. Ages, yes. ages. I haven't mean. Yeah. No. Huh. Yes. Okay. I haven't been going out much. I have. I have been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I have only been spending money. I have been trying to become an actor. I have been taking courses and going to a lot of this show. Really? How long have you been trying? Sounds it. But I have, but I haven't had any lucky yet. Any no luck recognizes my talent. Okay, or any, any luck. luck? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Diana. Uh, do you have vocabulary questions? What is how? How come? How come? How come? It's like uh, why. Uh -huh. It's why. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. It's the same, uh, the same as why, but it's like in a, an intermediate advanced structure. How come? Another question? Not the truth. Okay, are you sure, guys? Everything is understood? Yeah. Okay, then we're gonna listen to the rest of the conversation. Uh, we're gonna listen to two other people at the party. Uh, you have to tell me at the end, what has happened since they last saw each other? Okay, you have to answer this question what has happened since they last saw each other page 81 exercise 7 part b listen to two other people at the party what has happened since they last saw each other 
Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So, what have you been doing lately? Well, I went to Italy last month. Really? What were you doing there? I was taking a short Italian course. But guess what? I fell in love. You did? Who's the lucky guy? Actually, I fell in love with the food there. So I've been taking some classes in Italian cooking. That pizza you're eating? I made it. Okay, guys, what has happened to this people? What has happened to the men? To the men talking? No idea? He, he has both a car, a, a house. Uh, no, not yet. Ah, yeah, sorry, yeah, at the end, yeah. So he has, he has been looking, he has been looking for a house. He's, he has been looking for a house and finally, and finally he found one. Finally, he found one. When? Did you, under, did you understand when he found the, the house? last month and finally he found one last month okay and the girl what happened what has happened to the girl she has been taking courses about mm -hmm. About cooking. <clears throat> About cooking. She has been taking cooking. Yeah, she has been cooking courses. Uh, what kind of cooking? What type? What type of cooking? Italian. Italian, yes. She has been taking Italian cooking courses. Yes, and why? Why Italian uh, cooking? Because she fell in love with Italian cookie. No, with Italian food. Italian food. Yes, exactly. Right? She, yeah, she fell in love with Italian food because she went to Italy last month. That's the reason. Yeah, because she went to Italy last month. Okay, good guys. So we are going to learn in this unit, we are going to learn Present perfect continuous. Present, present perfect continuous. So please let's listen to the grammar focus and then I'm gonna well, let's let's then we wanna practice. Page 81. Exercise 8. Grammar focus. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been trying? I've been trying since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving money. I've been spending it. Okay, let's explain it. Here we are. Okay, present perfect continuous. Can you help me to read, please, Mayra? Yeah, present perfect continuous. The, perfect, the present perfect continuous is 
used to describe an action that started in the past and continues into the present. Sub subject to plus have or has not plus be plus ver ing I ing plus res e okay. ie como uh, eg means example eg uh -huh. i this is for example siempre he tenido uh, example, siempre he tenido problema en pronunciar esta, el I, I will, pero el I, I, digo el have, perdón. I, it's just like an F. I, 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 I. Uh -huh. I've been working. I've been working to jobs. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. She's been talking swimming lessons. Taking, taking. Lessons since taking, taking, ¿qué dije yo? Talk, talking. She's been taking swimming, ah, sorry. She's been taking swimming lessons since September. Yeah, thank you, Mira. Okay, we use present perfect continuous to describe to describe an action, an action that started in the past and continues into the present. Okay. So uh, the structure is subject plus have or has plus not if it's negative plus been plus ver. ING plus the complement, plus the rest. For example, I have, the contraction is I, I've been, always been, always, I've been working, you know the verb work plus ING in general, I've been working two jobs for the last six months. What's the translation of this phrase? What's the translation, guys? Yo he estado trabajando esto en dos trabajos en dos trabajos por lo, en los últimos seis meses. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. He estado trabajando en dos trabajos, valga la redundancia, o he, estado, o he tenido o he estado en dos trabajos por los últimos seis meses. Yeah. What about next one? She, she's been, this is has, okay? Apostrophe S is the contraction. It's the contraction of has. So she has been taking swimming lessons. She's been, she's been taking swimming lessons since September. What is it? What does it mean? Ella está tomando lecciones de natación. Uh -huh. oh, Ella está tomando clases de natación desde septiembre. Desde yeah. septiembre. Exactly, ya. Yeah. Ella ha estado tomando clases de natación desde septiembre. Since September. Be careful, because lots of students said science. Science is ciencia. This is since. Scenes. Ok, good. So. Y bueno, luego los alumnos conforme avanzamos tienen problemas con el apóstrofo S. Es muy fácil de diferenciar entre si esto significa sí o significa has. Si adelante está un verbo en participio, como es el caso de been, que significa estado, been, entonces el apóstrofo S significa has. ¿Ok? Y si adelante del apóstrofo S hay cualquier otra palabra que no sea un verbo en participio, entonces estamos hablando de, el, de is, la abreviación is. ¿Ya? Yeah, ¿Got it? Got it. Ok. So, ¿ok? 
Can you tell me an example of this structure? Wait, let, let me see if there's another rule. Uh, well, the, 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 yes, here, here we have some, some more rules. The present perfect continuous can also be used without a time expression to describe an activity that started in the past, but is still in progress. Okay, we use it also to describe to describe an activity that started in the past, and but it's, but it's still in progress. For example, I've been thinking about taking a trip. I've been thinking about taking a trip. What is it? What does it mean? Yo, yo estaba pensando tomar un viaje. Yeah. Yo estaba pensando viaje. tomar un viaje. Uh -huh. Yes, he estado pensando en tomar un viaje. He estado pensando significa que ya hace tiempo que desde el, en el pasado tengo esa idea y que aún la tengo en el presente. Okay? Para ese tipo de cosas usamos el present perfect continuous. Activities that started in the past and are still in progress. Ya, yeah, got it? Can you tell me? Yeah. Can you please tell yeah. me? Yes, teacher. Please try to make make phrases in, in present perfect continuous. For example, I've been learning. I've been learning German since the pandemic started. Since the pandemic started. This is an example. I've been learning German since the pandemic started. He estado aprendiendo alemán desde que la pandemia inició. Entonces, recuerden, uso presente perfecto continuo para algo que inició en el pasado y está, y, y está actualmente en progreso todavía. Significa que comencé a estudiar en el pasado y que lo continúo estudiando el día de hoy. Ese es el significado de utilizar este tiempo con el I've been, I've been el, más el verbo en gerundio. ¿Ya? Got it? Ya, yeah, si, si quiero decir que yo estaba haciendo ejercicio, es I've been doing exercise. I've been doing exercise or also I've been exercising. It's correct. Ah, okay. Okay, give me your phrase. Come on, guys, make phrases. Tell me, tell me phrases using present perfect continuous. I've been watching a Netflix documental about a plastic ocean. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, perfect. So it means that you started the documentary, documentary, I don't know, maybe one week ago, and that you still have, haven't, you still ha haven't finished the documentary, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like I've been, I've been watching, uh, I've been watching The Walking Dead since a month ago. It means that I started with the series one month ago, and I haven't finished it. I, I'm still watching the series. So that means, that means the structure present for continuous. I've been watching The Walking Dead since one month ago. Any other phrase, please, guys. Give me phrases in present perfect continuous. Um, I've been reading articles. I've I've been bones articles. I've been reading. I've been reading bones articles. Articles on bones. Articles of bone. On on ah, bones. On significa about. Uh -huh. Okay, any other example? Luz? I have been reading a book for two months. Okay, I've been reading a book for two months. Okay, that's correct. Any question, guys?
No. Okay, so now also uh, we haven't practiced the negative four. For the negative four, we just have to add uh, not. We just have to add not, for example. In my case, I'm gonna give an example. I haven't, I haven't been exercising. <laughs> I haven't been exercising since the pandemic started. Now, now I have five more kilos. <laughs> I haven't, this is negative. I haven't been exercising since the pandemic started. Can you give me please a negative example? Questions. The question for the grammar structure is WH, WH, you know, what, when, where, how, plus have or has, have or has, the, depending on the pronoun, plus subject, plus been, plus verb, plus ing, plus the complement. For example, what have you been, what have you been doing lately? What have you been doing lately? This question is in order to ask you to describe uh, what has happened to you recently. What have you, if someone asked me, Erwin, what have you been, been do, doing lately? Mm, I've been working, I've been working uh, on Zoom. I've been learning German. I've been, uh, ha I've been enjoying my family, okay? So this question is very common in order to ask you about, about your life. When you, when you don't see, when you don't see a friend or a family member, for a long time, you use this question, okay? If you see a, your cousin, your cousin you that you haven't seen for months, hey, Carlos, what have you been doing lately? So, what would you what would you answer, Jorge? If I finally if I finally meet you, if I finally meet you in person, and I ask you this, Jorge. What have you been doing lately? Jorge, are you there? Can I respond? Yes. <laughs> Imagine that the, that we see each other in person, and I ask you, Jorge, what have you been doing lately? Tell me about your life. Uh -huh. I have been in, um, studying, studying, Stud is, is, studying, 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 studying uh, in France. Okay, what else? Tell me more. Uh, well, I have, I have been working in a robot for, for the, the for the um, ¿cómo se dice bombero? Bombero fire firefighter. Pompier. Firefighters. Five. Otra vez. Fire. Fa, okay. Fire firefighters. Teams of mm -hmm. the. Firefighter teams uh, of the city. And um, I don't know what else. I don't know what are you doing. Are you are you traveling? I've been traveling to to new cities. I've been improving my my uh, French skills. Not too much, but mm, well, well, tell me, tell me, tell me something negative. Also, like I, I haven't been. I for example, I haven't been practicing my French. For example. Okay, I haven't been uh, visiting uh, the, the, the 
uh, the lemon siri. Okay, I haven't been going to the lemon, the lemon city. Okay. Yeah, okay, thank you. What about you, Alide? What have you been doing lately? Please go ahead. Complete this conversation using present perfect continuous. Here you have, in parentheses, you have the verbs uh, you have to use to complete it. If you don't understand a word, if you have questions about vocabulary or vocabulary or structure, ask me. Two minutes. Me. Okay, Mayra. Creo que sí les ven, pues. Yeah, the question what is the have you okay. learn a what have you been learning any new skill this year? No, no, no what? It's not necessary, just have. have ah, okay. Have you been learning? Mm -hmm. Continue. Yes, I have. I yes, yes, I have. I taking. I've been. I've taking. Uh, I've been taking. Aunque esté el otro, el otro have se le pone otra vez. Yes. I've been. Yes, because okay. here's a period. It's yes, I have a part. Okay. Yeah, have, have you been learning any new skills this year? Yes, I have. I've been taking some art courses. And remember that the pronunciation here the is course. course. Mm -hmm. O se puede responder solo con yes, I have. I, have, I, I took some art course. I took, I took summer art course. Mm, maybe in an informal context, but if the person is asking you using present perfect continuous, you have to answer with the same tense. You have to answer with present perfect continuous. Yeah? Okay. But if you do it, the, the, the other is gonna understand. It's okay. Well, volunteer for number two. Me, teacher. Okay, Perla. What have you be? What have you been doing lately? Lately. Mm -hmm. Lately. Uh, well, I have looking for a new new job. Okay, I've been looking Look, for. Looking for. Yeah, very good. Correct. Do you know what's the meaning of look for, guys? Look for, what does it mean? Buscando. Buscar, buscando, yeah, exactly, uh, bus look for. Mm -hmm. Okay, for. number three. Who wants to tell me number three? Me teacher, how have you been feeling recently? Yeah. Perfect. The answer? Great. I have been running three times a week. Mm -hmm. I've been running. I've been running. And I? And I haven't been drinking. That's very good. And I haven't. This is negative. And I haven't been. I haven't been drinking uh, finish it please as much coffee as much coffee since i stopped working at the coffee shop since i stopped stopped with tea at the end since i stopped Stop. working at the coffee shop okay Stop. great thank you and the last one number four
soldier? Me. Okay, Diana. Have you getting have you getting enough exercise lately? Uh -huh. No, I haven't. I haven't been studying a lot for a bit exam. I the it's I haven't. I've been studying. It's affirmative. I've I've been studying. Yes, I've been studying. Study a lot for a big time. Okay, good guys. Any problems, any questions about this structure? No teacher. Are you sure? Eddie? Brandon, any question? No, bro. Any question? Brandon, are you okay? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Have you understand? Yep. Okay. Well, I hope so. Because <laughs> you are you are very you are in silence now. Well, in that case, let's go to next page. And let's practice a little bit of pronunciation. Please exercise, exercise number nine, contrastive stress in responses. Contra contrastive stress in response. Let's listen and practice. Notice how the stress changes to emphasize a contrast. The stress, you know, the stress is the intonation, okay? It's not, it's not about uh, when you are feeling bad, when you have a lot of work. No, it's not that kind of stress. It's about the intonation in a word. So pay attention to the stress to emphasize a contrast, to emphasize something is contrastant. Page 82, exercise nine, pronunciation. Contrastive stress in responses, part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the stress changes to emphasize a contrast. Has your brother been studying German? No, I've been studying German. Have you been teaching French? No, I've been studying French. Okay, so in this question, the, the, the people ask, has your brother been studying German? No, not my brother. Not my brother, me. For for that reason, this is a contrast contrast answer. No, I've I've been. It's me. I've been studying German. So the I've has to sound uh, in a loud voice. So the stress the stress is here. I've been studying German. Then, someone asked me, "Have you been teaching French?" No. I've been studying French, studying. This is the contrast part of the answer. I haven't been teaching, I've been studying. So I have to, I have to pronounce a studying in a loud voice because it's the opposite, because it's uh, in, in order to emphasize the contrast. You understand how to use uh, a stress to emphasize a contrast? Yes? Yes. Okay, now. Yes. Now let's listen to these questions and answers. And you have to mark, circle, circle or underline. Mark the stress changes in these conversations. Listen and check, then practice the conversation. So please listen and please circle, circle where the intonation rises. Page 82, exercise nine, part B. Mark the stress changes in these conversations. Listen and check, then practice the conversations. Have you been studying for 10 years? 
No, I've been studying for two years. Have you been studying at school? No, I've been studying at home. Do you have the answer or do you want me to play it one more time? One more time, please. Okay. Pay attention to the internet, to the to the stress, to the intonation rises. Page 82. Exercise 9. Part B. Mark the stress changes in these conversations. Listen and check. Then practice the conversations. Have you been studying for 10 years? No, I've been studying for two years. Have you been studying at school? No, I've been studying at home. Okay, so a volunteer to read me the answer. Well, Brandon, number one. Read the question and the answer. Uh, read the B or oh, wow. Well, the first one, the what? one, this one, this one. Okay. Uh, have you been studying for 10 years? No. no, I've been studying for two years. And what is the stress? Um, Which word has a stress? Is that, no. Uh, Stress, stress, stress. Okay. Um, what is the stress? El study, no? Studying? Studying. No. <laughs> Help him. No, es que no entendí el stress. El stress, eh, this is changed to emphasis to contrast. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's when the word the intonation rises. El ten, no? Yes, exactly, ah, Diana. It's uh -huh. two. It's in two. Uh -huh. Because... Okay. If you pay attention mm -hmm. to the audio, it's clear. It's clear. It's in the audio. Have you been studying for 10 years? No, I've been studying for uh -huh. two years. In the audio, they said two years because this is the information which contrasts with the question. Yeah, got it? Okay. Sí. Then, can, yeah. you, can you read the next one, Dulce? Uh, have you been studying at school? No, I've been studying at home. What is the stress? Uh, home. Home. Yes, correct. Okay, you identified you identified the the contrast, the stress very well, but you haven't pronounced it with stress. So please read it again, but with stress. Have you been studying at school? No, I've been studying at home. Do your intonation has to rise. Okay, can you say it again, please? Okay. Have you been studying at school? No, I've been studying at home. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Dulce. Any question, guys? No question. Okay, great. Then let's go. Not the, sure. Then let's go to the speaking practice. Number twelve. Number ten. Sorry, speaking. Tell me about it. Okay, this is a group work. Well, I'm gonna send you to the breakout rooms to do it. You have to add three questions to the list, and you have to take turns asking and answering the questions. Uh, and, and try to try to give more information, okay? Further, further information means that you have to add more information. For example, um, I'm gonna ask this question to Luz. Luz, have you been traveling lately?
Luz, have you been traveling? No, with... I haven't been. No, I haven't been traveling. Okay, give me more information. Why? Or what, ha what have you been doing? I don't know. Because we are in pandemic. Okay, because we are in pandemic. Okay. Uh, so I've been I've been taking uh I've been learning English, I've been learning French, okay? Try to give more information. Dent. Um uh, Eddie, have you been watching any good TV series lately? Yes, I've been watching good series. Like, for example, um, for example, a good doctor. Um, yeah, try to try to speak more than three yeah. phrases, please. I don't remember. Like I think, well, so, I, yeah, I've been watching good series like The Good Doctor. I really recommend it to you because it's a uh, an, an action an action series. Uh, I'm watching it in Prime Video. So yeah, try to give try to speak try to give more information. Yeah. Okay. Please, you can, yeah. you can. Then. Al Alec, Alec, uh, have you been taking any lessons lately? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have been taking uh, French and, and English. French. And I already finished with my school classes. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, French. Good. Thank you, Alec. Um, Alaide, have you been working out lately? Have you been working out? Uh, no. No, I haven't been working out since the pandemic start. started. Started. I only... Sleep tomorrow. Unit 12. Ya acabamos la unidad 12, las dos gramáticas para que practiquen past continuous versus simple past and present perfect continuous. This is the page for homework. Ya la tienen? You have it? Yes? Yes, teacher. And in the workbook, the other three pages. In the workbook, Unit 12. Ya teníamos hasta Lila Downs. Now please answer page 70. Page 70. Page 71. And 72. 70, 71, and 72. In order to finish Unit 12. Got it? Yes. Any question? 